Okay, so we did all the decals, we did all the brushes, we did all the entities. Now here's some brush manipulation. Right here. I'm going to be showing you the clipping tool and the vertex manipulation tool. Now, brush manipulation, as I said, you know, it comes in handy, especially when you make doorways and stuff like that. So, I'm going to make another room, not like that. This is just one room. I'm going to make a doorway not there, right here, let's say, or right here, oh no, right here, <laughs> actually not right here, you know, that would be nice, now I'm going to take prop, door rotating, because it's an entity, you're going to use this, if I turn off those little blobs, you know, just click a world model, and select, or just filter out door, so you get all the doors that you can, those aren't possible, and you don't want those to rotate. I want this to rotate. But you know, I want something that looks more office -y. If I can find one, that'd be great. And I can't find one. That's legitimately upsetting. So I'll just take this door. Fine. You like that. Ops 17 door. Great. Now I'm going to put the door like so. I want it to touch the ground. I, I, yeah, the door should be hovering a little bit over, but yeah, whatever. I'm pr um, I believe that uh, this yellow line that you should see here is the way the door opens. So it's going to open this way. Imagining that, you know, this is a valid door. I'm just going to open. If you're on this side, the door is going to open this way, right here. So yeah. I'm going to put this door in the wall, say like, I don't know, right there, so why the hell not? I was like, oh, how am I supposed to make a hole in this wall? That's a good question. Now, if you take this clipping tool, you can make a line and where you want to cut the door or cut the wall, okay? The red side means that that's what's going to be erased when you press enter. You can change that if you just click on this, shift X. Now the, it's going to change because you, you're pretty much saying, okay, that's the opposite side. You don't want that. You can click it again. It's going to make both sides not click at all. They're going to keep both sides. Now I want to do that. I want to keep both of those. But I also want to move the door in like that sorry this is nice and clean i'm going to cut this right here as well now you're saying okay now i have three separate brushes here right here nice now the door is still kind of being closed either you can you know move this up like that or you can just cut it either way works I think that the door width or the wall width shouldn't be that thick, but I'll leave it as is. It's supposed to be fancy or anything like that, but it doesn't matter. Now, uh, rule of thumb, never make leaks in your map because it's going to suck. And keep things tidy. You never want to make your map all messy and stuff, and it's going to ruin everything that you've done. So I'm going to make the floor here, so you can actually see it. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to keep things consistent, add the walls. And I'll be at that door. I think anyone's gonna notice. Boom. No job. Now, actually, I'm just gonna expand this place a little bit more. Make it more fancy. You can copy this if you want. I don't mind. I don't care whatsoever. It's all for you guys. How about I make another room? It's just like that. I'm just gonna cheat. Kind of. I don't wanna consider it cheating. And. Copy walls so I don't have to do anything. Copy this wall, go down, copy that wall, go this way. Now if you copy a wall with a texture on it, it's going to copy the texture as well. Now this wall had a decal, or an overlay rather. I copy it, the overlay is not there because the overlay is going to stay on the wall that you want it to be on. So there you go, overlay is there. I want to do that, that, add all that stuff right there. And I'm going to just take this, put it up. Yeah, don't want that there. Want 
stuff like that. And take this texture, apply it on the wall. Or on here. Great. Now, we pretty much done everything with all these tools. Except for one. The vertex tool. Now, it can be really messy. I'm just going to do it outside. So, like, I'm going to make a 128 by 128. And you can make complicated shapes. But you shouldn't make them too complicated. Just like this. Because that's going to ruin everything. It's just not going to show up. It's going to be an error. It's, you just can't do that. You know, you avoid that. But you can, however, do something like, yeah, you, you, that, you, that's, I don't think that's a possible shape as well. You can, uh, say you want two sides to go down, like that. You can do that simply with a clipping tool. Or you can make complex shapes by selecting the shape with the selection tool, which you always be using. Select it. Vertex tool. And you can press Shift F on one of these yellow ones right here. You can create more the uh, edges and the I forgot what these are called. But you can make more and then you can fool around with that to make complex shapes like that. And this shape will be available. But you know, don't risk it. Just make separate brushes, make a square, make a triangle. You know, it's it's easier. It, it makes your life better in the long run, I'd say. You sh yeah. Vertex tool is an iffy topic or tool to use, and you shouldn't really use that. So, besides that.